हे गायज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल माई नेम इज सत्यजीत पटनायक एंड येट अनादर एपिसोड ऑन क्रिप्टो करेंसी I have started liking this concept cryptocurrencies cryptocurrencies and cryptocurrencies bitcoins ethereum well i had no idea about cryptocurrencies couple of days back but i'm gaining i'm gaining interest well let's get back to work in the last couple of videos we talked about web scraping and we talked about ed right if you remember the last video on my channel with respect to cryptocurrency was on ed we did some exploration of data on some cryptocurrencies we had more than 20 plus cryptocurrencies data and we did it right now before moving ahead with the power bi dashboard part i thought why don't we have a time series forecasting class on cryptocurrency so that's the reason in this video i shall be talking about how to perform time series forecasting on cryptocurrency data in power bi in the next video i'll be talking about the same concept time series forecasting of cryptocurrency data using python which is going to be a sub part of part 3 so part 3.1 today and the next video is going to be 3.2 and our last video which is going to be on power bi dashboard so let's get started So in the last video we already scraped uh, we we never actually scraped data but we had a kaggle data set and what we did is we combined all the data because we had data in multiple csv files right and uh, each and every coin was having a separate file so what we did is we merged it and then we performed our eda so the final file which is merged is being used in this project so you can see on the on the screen you have final csv what exactly is this final this is nothing but the merged data okay i'll just show you the data quickly this is my final data you can see that okay you can see all the cryptocurrency data is already present here so this is the merged data that we have name symbol date high low close So what we will do is we will perform a time series forecasting on close values, market close values. Okay. Now in case you don't know about time series forecasting, well again I will repeat that I already have time series forecasting videos on my channel. Please go through my playlists. There is a video of around two and half hours which will help you understand everything about time series forecasting because time series forecasting is very critical. and it's very important in the field of data science and analytics as well and yeah i mean just you just go through it and then come back so moving back to our small forecasting dashboard which is a mini project well what i'll do is i'll quickly take a line chart and here on my x axis i will add my date simple on my values i will add we'll do it on close value let's do it on close value okay now simply i want to remove the background so i'll make it transparent so i'll just change my background to this and my fonts are not visible because the background is dark so your font has to be white if your background is whitish your font has to be darkish right simple concepts so i'll make it white again these are very cosmetic changes if you want to skip it you can directly skip it to the forecasting part and then i'll just quickly change my title okay done everything is done well okay the this thing the y axis label has not changed title color okay done okay even x axis is there x axis title value it's in white everything is done now it has the cumulative value right but we want to do coin by coin so what i can do is i can simply create a slicer and in this slicer i will add my symbol okay i'll change it to a drop down done done let me just make it like this 
okay looks good so here i'll quickly remove my background slice header i will make it as white anything else mm, items i will make it the font color as background i will make it as this looks good looks good okay if you want i can give a border it's up to you border is given let's give a border of white color okay looks good looks good now what i need to do is let's say i'm selecting this my atom value is selected my bitcoin bitcoin value is selected simple so simply the graph is ready right now our next step is to forecast now how can we forecast in power bi very simple trick click on your line chart and then go to analytics so i'll click on this chart and i'll go to analytics section here there is an option of forecast i'll click on forecast and i'll click on add which says how much forecast do you want if you add 10 10 points so here it is doing it for 10 years right let's say you want to do it only for next two years just make it to confidence interval if your confidence is higher let me just make it for 95 percent apply you can see if your confidence rate is higher your forecast value you can see the upper forecast and the lower forecast is huge because which basically says that with 95 percent confidence my forecast will fall within this range if your forecast if your interval is getting lower then that means with 75 percent chances the forecast is going to lie within that range so if the confidence interval uh, decreases the, the 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 bandwidth or the upper and the lower bound decreases right and if the confidence is 99 percent it increases you can see right so 95 percent is a good confidence interval i'll mark it as apply now here you can see you can simply change the coins and you can see the forecast if you are not able to see the forecast properly just change the line uh, color right let's say i want to do it for bitcoin this is the forecast i want to do it for dogecoin this is the forecast i want to do it for ltc i want to do it for any other coin a wbtc so all these things are done and dusted done once everything is done what i will do is i'll quickly publish this report so this is a very simple simple basic project just wanted to make you understand about the forecasting part in the next video we shall be doing python based forecasting so which is not required for data analysts but again good to have it but for data scientists or machine learning engineers that's going to be important right so let me just publish it and we'll quickly jump into the app.powerbay.com so here we are we'll let's go to the testing and you can see crypto ts forecasting once you click on this if i do a full screen then this is my dashboard i can change my coins and then you can see the forecasting is happening so that's all about this particular video that's all about uh, cryptocurrency forecasting and this is the end of part three of this project stay tuned for part four where we will be talking about the python based forecasting model and part five which is going to be the most important thing which is the power b dashboard that's it from my side if you like Please like, share and subscribe my channel. Press the bell icon to get notified on my future videos. And don't forget to comment down in the video section. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, comment, comment, comment. See you guys, bye-bye.